welcome back to my channel. Teresa Love here. Thank you so much for clicking. Today we're going to do a video on a Christian bookstore haul. So it's very intense and we're going to get into it. Okay, here's the video. So I have some very sad news. I was very, very broken up. Our family Christian bookstore in our town closed down. There were 240 stores and they all closed down because they could not compete with Amazon prices, which I totally understand because Amazon has great prices. It's hard to not want to buy books from there, but I was going many times and there was always great deals at this bookstore and then now it closed down. But there was a closing, we're going out of business closing sale. So it was huge. Everything was about 80% off. Some was 90% off. It was insane. So. I got all this stuff for only $60 and that's insane. It's mostly books, so let's start with this. So there are two books in this series and it's by Rachel Decker. And one is called Returning, and one is called Calling. And when I was reading the back, it seemed like it was kind of like they were trying to escape this town, and they had to do it together, and it was just very intense and dramatic. And I like books like that, and it's very cool because it's a Christian book, so it's going to be like there's not going to be any of that stuff in it that could be, you know, not good to be reading, and there's not like crazy amount of um, swear words or anything. So like that's really nice. And I'm really excited to read this. I have not heard anything about it except for when I've been at the bookstore. Then I saw this adorable book. It says Every Bride Has Her Day. It's by Janice Thompson. I'm trying to get that. There's her and then there's the book. And it just looks super cute and I love weddings so I was like hey like Maybe this is a really cute book, and it seems very Hallmarky, kind of like a Hallmark, um, beautiful wedding movie, kind of. And it was very just he proposed and this and that. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun to read. So yeah, that's that. And then I volunteer at my church, as you know, a middle school and high school group. And there's a book called Volunteering, a guide to serving in the body of Christ. And when I picked this up, it very it drew me to it because. Volunteering is tough. Um, you don't get paid and you have to just know that you're just doing ministry for Christ and it's not because you, you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for money or you're doing it for other people. It's because you're doing it for Christ. And it is very tough because most of my friends are actually staff at the church so it's very hard to not be like, oh, that's your job. Of course you're doing that. But it's very intense. Um, and so I feel like this book will very much help. It'll understand, it'll help avoid burnout and serve during the long terms and like I'm just really excited it's a very small I think it's only like a hundred and something pages oh it's only a hundred pages so this will be a great book and I'm probably going to give it to my friend after then we have if trading your if only regrets for God's what if possibilities I read that and I was just like I I don't know like by Mark Batterson and I was like that's what we need like if you could do like my if only and training it for what if possibilities with God like it would be insane your life would be changed like how could you not so I was just really excited it's black and it looks kind of cool and I like when books look cool so yeah and then the Woodland Lawn Journal one one hope one truth one way and I like interactive books and this one's all very like write yourself and it's just very you know day four day this do that and so I was very excited because I was like oh this looks great and it's just the awakening through many things and I was just like oh this looks great and also stuff was so cheap so like how could I not I also got the a Daily Passion Devotional, Simple Pursuit After Heart of Jesus. It's by Louis Gigolo, Giglio. And it's hardback, so it's actually going to look really cute on my shelf. And it says, 
the brighter picture and then it'll have a verse and then it'll have a little bit to talk about and it's just stuff for you to actually like work on. Um, I'm probably not going to do it every single day because I do a different devotion every day, but it was very exciting to look at this and I was like, that's so cool. And then, oh, I have a cute little notebook. I love at church, I love writing my notes during every message, um, every sermon, every small group. I love writing notes down. So it's great to have one that bends like this because then it's easier to put on your lap instead of trying to open something that keeps closing. So yeah, this one says, walk humbly. It's just cute. Then I got Fast Friends, The Amazing Power of Friendship, Fasting, and Prayer. And honestly, this book was just so cute. I kind of just wanted to put it on my shelf. And like, it's just, it's like women need women. And like, there's so much in this world where women tear down women. And it's like, there's already men tearing us down and there's already other people around us. Why can't we just have the women stay together and be positive influences on each other? It's like, it's insane to not think like that, but it's like, we don't because we gossip and we talk bad about people and we're just like, well, they're not good. So why would I make friends with them? And it's like, just try and find that positive thing and then just lift each other up. Like just, you know, God would want that. So this looks adorable. Then I got your love to no matter what, freeing your heart from the need to be perfect. I am a perfectionist. It's by Holly Girth. I would, I could admit it. I am a perfectionist. I want my room to be perfect. I want my writing to be perfect. I want my coloring to be perfect. Like everything needs to be perfect. My crafts, when I'm working on my craft, I go, I throw the thing away like six times before I actually finish. Like it's insane. So like this book just seemed very like, how do we get out of that perfect and actually just be like, just be worth it for God and just be there and not have to like, this has to be right. This has to be right. Like it was so cool. And then I also got a suicide prevention book when hope is, seems lost. Um, so working in student ministries, there is a lot of negative and terrible stuff that goes on and it's very helpful for me to be researching and learning more and more for these students so that when they ask me something like, what if I want to end my life? I'm not like, uh, e, I, um, e, mm. you know, you have to actually be like, okay, well, we're here for you. Talk it through. This can't be the end of the world. I know your brain thinks it is, but it's not, you know? So there's just a lot of things. Well, it's a little book, so maybe I'll give it to someone. When holidays hurt. I love holidays and holidays make me so happy, like incredibly happy. Like Jesus is born on Christmas, Jesus is risen on Easter, like Valentine's Day, everyone loves each other. Like it's just awesome. Um, but I know that sometimes during holidays, especially when you're single, you can be very lonely and like wish that you had a significant other to like, you know, be that person with you. And so this just has so many information. Also, it's very cute on the inside. And I was a little addicted to the beauty of it. So I was like, this would look so cute. And maybe I'll give it to my friends or something. We have a hashtag struggles. Psh, hashtag, 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 hashtag. This is stand apart in a selfie-centered world. Our world is so centered by selfies. And I, I admit it, I love taking selfies. And I love when I, like, oh, my makeup looks pretty today. Like, oh, I'm, I look nice. You know, like, oh, I'm wearing something cute. Like, I want to take a selfie. But like to like to try to find Jesus and put Jesus first in a selfie-centered world is tough. And that's what this book is doing. It's just, it's in for a small group, but you can also do it yourself. And it's just, um, I'm very excited to jump into this because it's like the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, like all of that is so big. It's like, no, God needs to be first. God needs to be your center. Why don't you do selfies of God every day? You know, like meaning like Bible, you know, Bible information or something like of your word or what you're reading, but I don't know. It's really cool. Excited. <laughs> That's my dog. I'm so sorry. Okay. And then we have Simply Tuesday, small moments living in fast moving world. It was just really cute. It was gold and white. And that's also what I'm changing my room to. So I was like, oh, this is so cool. And, um, 
It's very like embrace today's work, find contentment in the now, replace competition with connection, learn to breathe in a restless world. Like this is all just like our world goes so fast, 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 fast. fast. We're like instant gratification 24 seven. And then it's like, also we have to pause and oh, now we have to pause and try to have a relationship with God, but he's not in our fast moving world. You know, so it's just insane to like, it's just crazy. And I'm really excited to read this too. Then we have Woman's Health by Dr. Carol. And it says, take charge of your physical and emotional well-being. It's just like physical is not only, your well-being is not only physical, it's mental, it's spiritual. So like for you to really like focus on all of these things and really just, you know, care and want to learn about yourself as your well-being of your spirituality, your physical, like all this stuff. It's just so cool. So those were all the books. And then I got this cute t-shirt that says cupcakes for Jesus. Cupcakes and Jesus, I mean. Cupcakes and Jesus. It's super cute and I'm really excited to wear it. Then I also got this cute neck. It's like a rose gold tarnished heart and it's super cute and then I got these inspiring moments and it's 52 Christian and four pages of craft general idea things and it's just super cute and fun to color and I was like this is great it was like two dollars I was like how could you not get it you know and I got an adult coloring book and a thousand reasons on the piano and guitar and another five love languages adult coloring book and it's super cute and super beautiful. And I was like, wow, like I cannot wait. And then last but not least, I have a person who does these um, Bible journaling and they were getting rid of the sign at that place anyway. And I was like, hey, can I have the sign? So it's just super cute and it has like all this information. And I was just so excited to look at the steps and maybe frame it in my room. So that is all my stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love Christian bookstores. I love being a Christian. I love sharing the word of God. Um, I love working at my church. But these books are really just like, wow, these are so great to read and you just feel so fulfilled and refreshed afterwards. I really hope that you take a chance on some of these books and try them out like I do. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much.